For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There is a fact that there is a hell as much as there is a heaven. Heaven's a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful place to go. But you don't get to go to heaven on good intentions. You don't go to heaven by being good. You get to heaven by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. See, when you think you're good enough, that God will be so pleased with you, the Bible says that there is, are none that do it good. No, not one. There is none righteous. And you need righteousness to get the glory and you don't have it. And God made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might receive the righteousness of God in Jesus. And the fact is, when it comes to heaven, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes unto the Father but by me. And you will not be accepted by the Father, God Almighty, when you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You will go to hell because you rejected Jesus. God's rejection is your rejection of Jesus Christ. Your satisfaction to go to a place called heaven to be in glory and praise and honor is through the one that receives all glory and all honor the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a simple fact. Going to heaven is by the merit of the gospel that we are told to go preach to all the world that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. Now what is the difference between religion and Jesus? Jesus came out of the grave. Religion stays in the grave. And Jesus has been witnessed by over 400 people after his resurrection. After his eternal life that by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are able to be saved. It is the finished work of Jesus and not yourself. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You will die because you are a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the fact is that you are mocking and scorning the gospel is that you are a sinner. Because a sinner who is saved will rejoice and be approved of the gospel being preached as God is approved of the preaching according to Romans chapter 10. With the mouth confession made unto salvation, and the salvation brought of God is in the name of Jesus, for there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that salvation is wrought in Jesus. Jesus Christ is able to 
save your soul. Jesus Christ is the only one who can get you out of hell. Yeah. And I've been preaching the cross. I've been preaching Calvary. I've been preaching the gospel for 12 years. And I will not shut up about the gospel. I will not shut up about Jesus because with my heart I have received the righteousness of Jesus. And with my mouth confession is made and the Bible proclaims for us to go all into the world and preach that gospel. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ and I'm not ashamed to tell you without Jesus you will burn in hell. Those without Jesus. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's nothing else can get you out of hell but the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior. And the old words are, turn or burn. Repent. Come to the Lamb of God who take away the sin of the world. Amen. Now we're all sinners. Listen, let's not look at the wickedness of sin. Let's look at the basic sin. If you have stolen one thing, you are a sinner. And you have need of the Lamb of God. If you told one lie, you are a sinner. You need the Lamb of God to take away your sin. If you mistreated your parents, the Bible says, Honor thy mother and father. And we have all mistreated our parents. You are a sinner. And you need the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. And you can't go to religion. You can't go to being good. Because the Bible says there are none good. So you're going to be good when the Bible says you can't be good and not good. That's not going to work. What works is the finished work upon Calvary. The finished work that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. For by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of yourself. It's a gift of God. And every gift is free. And you would be a fool to reject the free gift of God through Jesus. And the glory of God is Jesus Christ. And there's no other glory but that of the Son of God who is God. And the only way you will get out of the wrath of God when John has said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is a place called hell, made for the devil and his angels, spoken by the one that created it, Jesus. We are created beings, we're not evoluted. We are created by a God that loves us. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Again, John says, he that has the son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God that abides upon him. And when that rich man went into hell, he had his eyeballs, he had his tongue, he had his fingers, and he said, oh, if I could just get a drop of water to cool my tongue. If I could just be relieved of the torments of hell. And there's no relieving. There's no coming out of hell. Nothing but the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. And you will stand before that God. And you may say, I don't believe in God. Well, the Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. Twice in Psalm. When a man proclaims to be an atheist, the Bible calls him a fool. And, so we're all getting that plane and when you have heard the gospel that only Jesus saves and you still die and go up into hell, you're a fool. Because the person that is wise, a person that is understanding, would come to the gift of God, will put their faith in the gift of God, and will put their trust in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. 
And by Jesus Christ alone can your sin be taken in care of. You are all sinners. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You got ears and you hear it not. What the Bible says. We're all sinners. There's one sin that we have all going. I'm not a sinner. Oh, have you ever treated your parents wrong? I don't sin. Have you ever treated your parents wrong? Yeah. Your parents, your mom and dad. I never knew my parents. All right. Have you ever lied? Oh, you're lying right now. Oh, has everybody lied? Is that a sin? Yes. No. Have you ever taken something that's not yours? Come on. You never had a pet that wasn't yours? Accidentally? You didn't have permission? No, oh, there's no good. I was in there good that doing good. Uh, only by Jesus Christ will you go to heaven. When the Bible says all have sinned, you're not the exception. The only one that has never sinned is Jesus Christ. That was, that's what makes him God. You know what makes you not God? You sin. And you'll stand before a holy and righteous God one day. Covered in the blood of Christ, man. Amen. There I'm you good. go. That's it. I'm good. Amen. And when God sees the righteousness of Jesus Christ in you, not you, when, when God sees the righteousness of Jesus Christ in you, you're saved. But when God sees your sins because you have not come to the Lamb of God, you have not put your faith in Jesus. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It's amazing that the Bible says, Marvel not, my brethren, the world hates you. Not everybody loves God and Jesus. But God loves you that he went to Calvary and suffered and died for you. That's the love of God. And John 3, 16, that love is past tense. It says, for God so loved, past tense. God's love for you is at Calvary. There's no more love when you come away from Calvary and reject Jesus. If you want the love of God, you've got to receive Jesus Christ. If you reject Jesus, you will be rejected by Jesus. If you are ashamed of Jesus, Jesus will be ashamed of you. If you deny him, Jesus will deny you before the Father. You can have righteousness. And that righteousness comes to the finished work of Jesus alone. The fact is that basically we have the story of Christmas and we have the story basically of Easter. That's God manifesting himself. That's God coming to this earth and dying for us. The reason why Jesus Christ lived 33 and a half years on this planet is to go to Calvary's cross and suffer and die and to be buried and to be a rose of that grave three days and three nights. All according to the scripture that you may have a scriptural sound salvation offered and given by God alone. You will not get to heaven without Jesus Christ. You will not. You need and must have the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You need and must be washed in the blood of Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Jesus said you must be born again. And yet in the must of salvation, God says a free gift, and you have a free will to say yes or no. You've got to come by faith. You've got to come by repentance. To 
the Son of God, who is God, Jesus Christ, the blessed forever and ever. I do too. You're not going to anybody or anything else to get to heaven, but through Jesus. You will not make it. You will fall off into hell with everybody else who believes what you believe outside of Jesus Christ. And we preach that you may not go to hell. The creator of us is also the savior of us. And you can have that salvation by faith and belief in God. Jesus Christ manifested in the flesh that died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. 